Well, we watched the loading screen, and I'd uh, like to greet anyone who's joined in, and especially if you aren't familiar with the Chobo Team League. The Chobo Team League is a league for players anywhere from bronze to diamond to who uh, <clears throat> learn more about the game, get better, and compete in a fun team environment. The uh, setup of the matches is uh, somewhat similar to the Pro League format, whereas all matches are predetermined, but unlike Pro League, we actually play out every match, and they're played at whatever time the players can get together throughout the week. There are matches for players anywhere from bronze to diamond. All of the matches actually have a uh, set level. You can play above your level, but never below. Those matches are a bronze silver match, match, a silver match, three gold league matches, two platinum matches, a diamond match, and a diamond ace match. The ace match being a best of three, all other matches being best of ones. So, uh, we got Vespasian sending out a uh, quite early SCV. Not sure if that means cheese or scouting, but with where it's going, it's looking like we're going to see some cheese out of Vespasian. Whereas Hazelnut is uh, looking pretty typical so far, just making drones, sending overload across the map. Yep, we have a proxy barracks coming out of Vespasian. So we'll uh, see where that leads him, as he is also taking an early gas, so we're probably looking at a proxy reaper build. So uh, Hazelnut does have a... I see, this is just a drone going to take his hatch first. So he's going hatch first rather than pool first, and uh, that's not necessarily the best thing when you're facing Proxy Reaper, but we'll see how that all goes. You can defend end against Proxy Reaper moderately well, usually only losing a drone or two with hatch first if you do it right, but we'll have to see how good Hazelnut's control is here. Second barracks on the way in that proxy location for Ervis Bossian. No real wall off or anything over here, though, so he's got absolutely no defenses at home against any early aggression that Hazelnut would be sending. But as he did go hatch first, even though Ervis Bossian doesn't know that, and he's moderately safe at the moment, even with no real protection back there. But Hazelnut's about to scout that fact with that first overlord. And uh, knows that something's going on because there's already a Reaper in his base. So there's that first Reaper heading in to try to get some drone kills. A few drones being pulled to try to micro against it. Does get one drone. And there's a second. One drone being... Uh, morphed into an extractor before it goes down, but he does have three drones already with that first reaper, second reaper already on the way over. The count is now up to four drones, so that reaper is being very successful, drones being pulled and trying to chase it, the reapers are much, much faster than uh, anything that Hazel has in the field right now. Some lings coming out to try to start chasing those reapers, but they are indeed slow lings and he's starting to and he's already lost one of the lings, and the other three are pretty low on health. But, did keep, keep any other drones from being taken down. The Reapers are firing a little bit at the base, and Vespasian continuing to send more Reapers across the map. Now there are four. First Reaper actually goes down right, right as the Queen morphs in to get the last hit on it. That Queen arriving just in time. Three Reapers just sitting around and healing up now. Total damage so far is, I believe, even a six drone. Well, like, I think it's five or six drones. Well, let's see. Four drones and a number of wings. Maybe four drones and five wings by the resources. Now six links. Especially only having lost one of the Reapers. This Reaper remarkably low on health, but the Queen is reluctant to go after it and start hard attacking things. The Queen not being micro does not choose to attack the low no health Reaper, or which uh, means that that Queen goes down for pretty much free. Spassian's Reaper is really doing work here, pretty much denying any use of the second base. 
in the meantime, he uh, has added a few barracks back home, home, and is uh, using them to have a couple of well off. So he's actually got defense back on the home front as well. Just one drone, just kind of hanging out there. Anyway, as I said, these uh, Reapers are really doing the work. They might actually take down this hatch. It's pretty odd to see Reapers actually take down a hatchery. They've got such low DPS, but with nothing to contend against them, they do get at their work done on it. Six Reapers out here. Eventually, they'll take down a hatchery. In fact, it looks like they could take it down pretty quick. More Lings coming out, but those are still slow Lings. Speed not even on the way for me, about that. He just got his 100 gas, so he's probably already going to see speed started up pretty quick. With this hatchery, and this hatchery is a goner. Loses another few lings for free and a queen as they all spawn right on top of these reapers. A few marines headed across the map to join the reaper, reapers in their fun. All these slow lings trying to do their best. They do get hit to two marines. One of the reapers continuing to actually be, be very effective now. Reaper's not doing perfectly micro. Take down on two more of those marines, so I believe that's all of the marines that were out currently. Or at least out on this side of the map. Yeah, there's a few more marines joining up with all those reapers. Go across and continue pushing. Really good rain. <coughs> good micro on those reapers and that engagement. Taking down ling after ling for free. Another queen going down for pretty much free, and a spine crawler tries to walk away, but spine crawlers, they don't exactly walk very fast. And those uh, Reapers and Marines now actually heading into the main base for the first time after the main base is scanned. Reapers and Marines continuing to do work. Drones being pulled to try to do what they can, but this game is pretty much over at this point. Hazelnut literally down to five supply, four supply. Just got nothing left. All of that supply and ling things that are morphing in, and they just are not going to be enough. A number of the Reapers did go down, but there's still the Marines, and that's GG. So, so far CT6 has taken... Making both of the first two games.